man it feels like it's been a month since i vlogged but it's actually only been like a week just getting back from like a crazy busy weekend in seattle patrick had his show i was chilling with pat Morgan losing, Danny gets fit. It was just like super cool. Chill with everybody that I haven't seen since chilling in Canada. Patrick won his show. Honestly, I knew my boy was gonna win the show, man. His conditioning was crazy. The competition was crazy, but his physique was just on a different tier. So congrats to him. I'm pretty sure by the time this video goes up, all the videos that we recorded together will have been up. So I filmed all the show day videos. So go to Patrick's channel, support those videos, tell him congratulations. And um, yeah, man, I'm super proud of you. So again, congrats on that win. But in the midst of all of that, Kosher Collection 2 dropped during that weekend. So if you got something, man, like I appreciate you. I was super overwhelmed with all the orders that i got within like hours of unlocking the site we sold out of two hats and we sold out of a couple of sizes and shirts if you got something i appreciate you if you didn't now is the time to get something because i'm actually going to leave a discount code in the description for the youtube family i'm not going to put this on instagram because i want this exclusively to be for my youtube subscribers so if you want something and you didn't get something 30 percent off on your order code will be in the description and um yeah i appreciate you guys so a little bit of a short video today but i want to make sure i give you guys a physique update because i feel like i have haven't updated you with my physique throughout this whole cut or gave you like where I started other than the picture that I posted for the thumbnail. So today I'm gonna give you guys a physique update and then you can obviously see the title. I'm gonna give you guys three of the tips that I feel like are gonna make your videos better. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so physique update for you guys. Weighing in at about 202 right now, a couple pounds down from the starting weight. And um, as you can see, I'm not lean by like any means right now i need to get to about 196 ish for me to start getting lean so i'm thinking i'm gonna make my macros a little more aggressive right now and then i'll be more on track for the goal weight that i'm in for in like the time being so yeah this is what i'm looking like right now i feel like i haven't showed you guys my physique but uh here we go so we are leaving for Germany this week and I'm not gonna lie, I think it's gonna be super hard to stay with my macros, stay on track for this cut. I don't know what kind of food they have in Germany and I'm not sure what kind of groceries I'm gonna be able to get while I'm there. I think I'm there for like a week and a half. So I'm gonna try to do my best to stay on track. I feel like it's going slow enough already so I don't wanna be set back. So try to stick to my macros, try and eat a little less, bring a bunch of protein shakes and uh, we'll see how that goes i'm not really sure but like i said i want to do a tutorial for you guys today three tips that i feel like are going to help you make your videos better the last tutorial that i did is like my best video on youtube right now so obviously you guys like the tutorial so we're going to get into this tutorial right now all right so before i give you guys these tips i'm actually going to let this edit play through here and it'll kind of give you a little reference to what i'm talking about then we can kind of match these tips up with actual video footage <laughs> So that was a little edit that I threw together for one of Patrick's last videos, and it plays into the three tips that I'm gonna talk about here. I'm giving all these tips from a videographer's perspective, but I wanted anyone who makes videos to be able to use these tips. So we're gonna start off with the first tip being jump cuts. And I know this sounds like kind of obvious. You're probably thinking like, oh, everybody knows how to jump cut, but I feel like people do not use jump cuts to their advantage. If you go through this video, that I did for Patrick, you'll see that there was no fancy edits. The video was clean and it was purely just jump cuts with the beat of the song. If I scroll through here, you'll see that I cut to the next scene right here at the start of the next beat or bass or snare, whatever it might fall into be at that song. So that's like super important. I see a lot of people missing the cue to cut to the next scene. And honestly, that plays like a huge part in the cinematic feel of the video. If you're too fast or you're too slow, it'll feel really off. It just kind of takes away from the video. And as far as using jump cuts for any other type of videos, as far as like makeup, fitness, or just like tutorials, anything in that nature, cut out your breasts, cut out your arms. And if you mess up on something, do not try to say it over. If you know it just will not flow, jump cut to where you correctly say it i mean these are like easy little tips that people will probably think are obvious but you still see a lot of new youtubers or even like established youtubers still making these mistakes and they go a long way with making videos feel more professional another thing to go over is going to be color grading honestly i feel like color grading will probably fall under the most important of all of the three that i'm going to be going over people feel like it's not necessary to color grade their videos but this has got to be one of the most important things it can actually trick people into thinking that you have a nicer camera than you 
actually do by bringing down the midtones or bringing down the shadows or even just adding some contrast to the video or just the basic fact of color correcting a scene if it's too bright or if it's too dark if it's too yellow you can fix all that with color grading and color correction here so if you look at this video here with patrick when i remove the cinematic bars you can see how effective color grading here adding to the shadows adding a little bit of a red tint to the video making it a little more cinematic here in the street scene you can see that it's like really flat overall once i add that color grading layer it is going to be a red tint it's going to make all the colors more vivid and it's overall just going to give you more of a cinematic feel it's a pretty big deal when editing any type of video so if you guys want a full tutorial on color grading final cut or premiere just let me know i obviously want to do a video that the mass majority of people want to see either dm me or just leave a comment below and I can either do like a quick tutorial on how to color grade and what I do in my steps of color grading. The next tip is pretty tricky because it comes with experience and practice but that's going to be stabilization and there's a couple things that you can do to cheat with this. You can use post stabilization in Premiere or Final Cut. Premiere I think it's called Warp Stabilization Effects and then in Final Cut it's going to be called Stabilization I'm pretty sure. So you can use those to your advantage to make your clips a little more stable. If you watch the videos through of the edit that I just showed you you can see that they're really stable and honestly that comes with me having so much practice with the camera combined with a little post stabilization so this element plays a little more into like cinematic type videos with those videos you want your footage to be as stable as possible just to give that cinematic feel but it also plays a part in natural movement if you're holding your camera in a way that's going to make you a little more shaky then obviously the stabilization is going to be off in your vlog or in your cinematic sequences so when you're vlogging try not to be running or making like sudden motions or when you're filming cinematic sequences try to take like easy steps this paired up with a little bit of post stabilization is going to give you like the best results without of course using a glide cam or some type of electronic gimbal so i figure everyone can get something out of at least one of these tips and if not then drop me an idea in the comments down below or send me a message on instagram and i'll try to tackle that topic too but overall i hope everyone's taking something away from that i'm gonna end the video right here if you're new join the crew subscribe to the channel leave this video a like before you leave and i will see you guys in the next video I'll pull it and find me a cooler, yeah. Made it my personal over, yeah.